So recently I played a game called Shashingo, a Japanese learning game that uses photography. Before we get started, I want to mention that I did support the game on Kickstarter and I am currently learning Japanese. I'm in no way an expert, so everything I say will come from a learner's perspective. You start off in a town very common to a lot of Japanese neighborhoods. There's the subway, there's the gathering area in the middle of the street, and then there's the plethora of shops around and up and down the alleyways. It's very nostalgic. About the only inaccuracy here is Mount Fuji, unless you're in the right place, and even so, it won't be that big. Basically, in the game, what you do is go around town, take pictures, and learn some Japanese. In short, you're making flashcards. Your pictures go in an album that you can browse later. So far, I've found about 128 flashcards, and the game hints that there's more. I'm not exactly sure where they are, but if anyone knows, please let me know. Also, I haven't figured out how to make them bigger again after they go into the album, so please leave a comment if you know how to do this. And if I haven't mentioned this already, there is audio so you can listen to the pronunciation of each word. It's kind of handy, actually. They also have a chart for all your kanas and a Genki-style beginner guide to common Japanese phrases and grammar. If that's not enough, you can also get tested to make sure you remember the words and get rewarded with coins to make your pictures prettier with filters and borders. So that's the Shingo in a nutshell, but is it any good for learning Japanese? First off, the game looks like it's built for beginners. If you're just starting out and want a cute environment to learn outside of books and language apps, then it's perfectly fine. And you'll get the basics. However, you can't go very far which limits the vocabulary you can learn. Literally. There is a barrier that stops you from going too far. So you're limited to the shops around the plaza and far off items that you can take a picture of. Also, several things such as drinks and food could have their own flashcards but tend to get grouped in the same kind of category. Another thing I would have liked to see is to be able to go into some of the shops. There's bound to be some vocabulary words in there or at least give you a feel of actually living in the small portion of town you're in. It would also have been nice to have something, human, animal, inanimate, talk to you to test you on your reading comprehension. There are over 6,000 vocabulary words used daily in Japan. While I don't expect that kind of content in this game, it should at least get you to N5. This game probably gets you partway there. Hiragana and Katakana is covered, but not necessarily testing you on the readings of each one unless you count the photo hunts. Also, there are no sentences to test your knowledge. Granted, there is an in-game translation for various signs, so that's helpful. I will give it points for using Furugana on kanji, which is very helpful, since kanji readings change depending on the context. You also do get some kanji for the most common things you'll run into. All in all, if you're a serious learner, this game might not be for you, and other resources might be better. If you're a beginner, it's a cute and fun environment, but it might still feel a little bit small. One major thing I hope for in the future of the game is that it expands the area you can explore so that you can learn more and see more as well as some interaction to really test that reading and comprehension. Me personally, I don't see myself using Shashingo for Japanese learning since I have other resources I like better. Also, it's a bit of a hassle to open the game and navigate through the menus to get to the content I want. It would be nice to have shortcuts for each major lesson, such as one for kanas and another one for grammar and such. Despite my criticism for the game, I do hope it improves in the future. Mainly, I hope to see the area you can explore be bigger. Also, I hope that you can have something to interact with for practice and maybe some quality of life in the menus. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of Shashingo and if there's anything else you want me to review. Alright, see you later everyone.